Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Welcome to Hello. episode two of The Keep on the Borderlands, a Torchbearer special game uh, mini campaign brought by me, the Eric Volgaris, the host and game master of today's game. But I am not doing this alone. If you were playing Torchbearer with just me, it would be a really, really weird and boring <laughs> game. Uh, I know the reason why you're here. It's for these three amazing people today. Um, Let's just go around and they can say who they are and who they're playing today and and if anything cool has been going on in their life recently since the last time we played. Uh, so let's start up here with, with Virgil. Hey, everyone. Uh, not a ton going on for me since last game other than my whole work world turning upside down and changing over to completely different systems for everything. But that's fine. <laughs> I'm good at learning new rule sets. <laughs> Uh, uh, and I've been having fun with this one too. Um, I'm ready to test my beliefs, my goals, and my instincts once again uh, in in the the darkness and the dangerous depths. Um, yeah, yeah, good good stuff. And I'm ready to jump back into it. Uh, how about you, Sean? Hey, thanks, Virgil. Um, my week's been okay. Work was a little turned a little upside down for me as well, but uh, but that's boring stuff. I don't want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I just had I just celebrated my third anniversary. My wife, Karen, that was fun. Congrats! Times. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, it was a leather anniversary, and we were like neither of us had any idea like what to do for that. So I took a card completely apart and reassembled it with a leather backing. I felt very crafty. Nice. Yeah, I was like, I'm getting in character right now. I've got, I've got my crafting nature going on. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to play Bryn. Uh, she's, she's very uh, uh, down with the system and uh, she does not uh, like the reason why we're out here or the, the circumstances. Uh, and hopefully when I make that come out a little bit more, a little more tonight or today, depending on what time zone you're in right now. Yeah. Um, and uh yeah how about you epi what's fun up with you uh this week i'm on fire with the uh world or the world short story reading month the cool. hashtag wo remo which i'm sure you've all heard of <laughs> ah yes yeah yeah i've seen it i didn't know what it was short for <laughs> i thought that was just verbal components to a spell oh, yeah like uh, it's where uh, you attempt to read as many short stories as you can in the month of November. I'm going to try and read one every day, uh, which sounds like a really easy task because the word short is in the title. But uh, as you get older, time slips away. <laughs> Your days get shorter and you have less and less time. But so far, I'm on track. This is day four and I've read three. I still have one to read yet tonight, but I've got it, I've got it sitting next to me. When we're done here, I'm just going to open it up and just plow through it. Oh, and I'm looking forward to this game, obviously. Yeah. Uh, get to play Basil and get him out there uh, and preach to the masses, or have the masses preach to him as his belief would would have us, us yeah. believe, I guess. See, How I about you, we... <laughs> Eric? Yeah. Uh, so I was last night. I had the privilege of working with Mislex again, uh, and as well as the wizards on the coast that we all know and love uh, to help with their extra life charity event. So um, cool. it was super fun to there to help raise money for kids and get into a lot of trouble and hijinks with a bunch of bugbears and goblins. So that was fun. And uh, speaking of dealing things with goblins and stuff like that, that's what we're going to be doing today, I guess. So uh, let's bring us over to the game screen. Um, as you notice, we have. I, I want to bring it up that we, our one player is unfortunately in the middle of a flight right now, uh, due to complications and cannot join us. But it's okay because it's Linus, and we just forget about Linus all the time. So <laughs> I think I think we'll be able to to make our, do. Our in fiction justification is just going to be like, oh, there you are, Linus. Yeah. <laughs> next exactly. session, right? Yeah. Exactly. So I think I think that will work out fine. So. Let's talk. Let's talk about Torchbearer and and all that kind of stuff. So, um, an, an integral part of Torchbearer is rewriting your things that give you player points and not just character experience. Your player experience, which is your beliefs, your instincts, and your goals. So, um, I know we were talking about changing beliefs technically before we start play because that's what you're supposed to do. Right? You're supposed to start with goals kind of after you do a prologue. So, um, we should probably just just review each other's goal uh, beliefs and instincts and and and. If we want to make any changes, describe what they are, or say what they are currently, and then um, we can deliver a, a prologue and and then also write our goals. So we can hit all three of those things together. 
Um, does anybody know immediately right now? They're like, oh, my belief has changed. And, uh, or my belief is I, absolutely I, not changing. I, I think I'm going to stick with my belief of treasure isn't worth losing lives. <laughs> um, because that one's fine. But is it worth it? Uh, I mean, it, it, did, it didn't work for me, <laughs> but I felt like it was, um, it was guiding, guiding my actions as a character. Uh, and so I'll stick with it a little bit. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm just shortening mine a little bit because I feel like it was a little too wordy last, last time. So now it's kings or thieves who mask their greed and call it providence. I'll tear apart this facade, this facade from the inside. That's so good. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. No. I, I, I was deliberating on my belief quite a bit because I, I, I didn't play to it last time that well. And I thought maybe I didn't have a belief that would have been something I could play to in this particular adventure, but I am actually going to stick with it this time. My belief is the gods speak to the people before they speak to the priests. And I'm going to try my damnedest to make that happen at some point <laughs> in this particular. And if it doesn't, then we'll, we'll re-examine it. I think, I think a critical element of at least our two beliefs, Epi, is mm. that, we're assuming that we're surrounded in some form of civilization, right. which, which requires us to presume that the goblins we're talking to, like, are people we can talk to, which it seemed like it's kind of in the maybe zone right now. Like right, right. now it's like we tried and we're like, hey, let's be pals. And they're like, hey, how about we take your stuff and <laughs> eat your faces? But like that doesn't that doesn't mean it's completely ruled out. So I feel like. And to uh, be yeah, fair, it's, it's that like, literally didn't... could be the gods talking. <laughs> That's fair Ooh. enough. Yeah. Sorry. What were uh, you saying, Virgil? Yeah, I just think that you know maybe they weren't really friendly, but they need time to adjust. <laughs> yeah. So I, I have a plan to try and make them more friendly. We'll we'll see if it works. Uh, but um, yeah, but yeah, I think if we can engage with them more, then both of our beliefs have a better chance of firing off. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be shooting for that. Excellent. Yeah. Um, any updates to our instincts or just want to quickly same order to say what our instincts are uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap my instinct uh, to I need to jump in if nobody is taking charge okay nice well, that's good mm -hmm. nice so if no one's taking charge I will jump in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like we can't just sit around in the bushes waiting for the goblins to find us type thing right yep yep I like it um, mine is currently always a praise craftsmanship when first encountered. And I really, <laughs> this is, this is, this is where I get gamey on my belief. I'm like, no, I'm sticking with my belief, <laughs> with my instinct. I really want a instinct right now that will allow me to. So I ask all ye, my fellow players to help me craft this. I'm looking for an instinct that says when I see an inefficiency and, and craftsmanship will improve it. Uh, step in and 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 fix the problem with craftsmanship. Uh, just, that's just a little too wordy, right. but I want right. something um, uh, like I bring uh, things up to my uh, standards, like something like. Well, that. it's got to like, be. It's got to have a craftsman's trailer. always as good when, as his tools. Make sure the best tools are at hand. Something like that. Um, I don't so much work. It's close. I think that's that's close. Um, yeah, the the problem we, we're having is that it's easy to come up with a motto that works with what you're saying, but an instinct is a yep. very specific yep. sentence, yep. right? Like, yeah. when blah, then exactly. blah, blah. So if, I, if, I see, if I see something janky, I can't keep my hands off it. It's got to be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say when tech, yeah, when technology is subpar. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just gotta wiggle in there and start start I tightening bolts. I will improve it. I, I I will use my craftsmanship. To, I will improve it with craftsmanship. Yeah. Uh, ah. What when when I see shoddy craftsmanship, I will improve it. There we go. There you mm. go. There we go. There we go. See, look at that. Also, thank you so much, Sean, for telling us your intentions behind an instinct and asking <laughs> for the group support and ideas for that. I feel like that's a underutilized aspect of these games. Um, because it also makes it really easy to judge later on because we know what your intentions were. So thank cool. you. Well, I'm very welcome. Thank you all for helping me brainstorm that. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, any other changes Ooh. to our instincts? Or... Uh, I'm sticking with mine uh, because I think, even though I didn't get a chance to use it last time, it, 
it's very imminent here. I have, when we make camp, I provide the comforts of home. Yeah. And I think that we probably have a camp coming up at some point today. I, I think the moment we get it, like, I don't think we're safe right here right now, but I think the moment we find, um, get into the caves and find a little nook. Yeah. <clears throat> we're, oh, I, yeah. I definitely want to make camp. Um, I think we could. Uh, yeah. I think we're all hungry and thirsty. I think we all ate oh, after you, that. You, we you got hungry. Th- yeah. Okay. The we, status we, symbols are right, aka we, nothing. Ate and, and or drank twice. Yep. Did in, you in drink? Succession. Did you drink? Um, yeah, uh, I drank instead of ate. Do you have an empty? Do you have an empty uh, vessel that holds fluid? I do. Okay. I have. Um, let's see Perfect. here. Oh, okay. So we drank twice. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we had to eat or and or drink twice. Right. And let uh, me just... Okay. And preserve rations come in groups of three, right? Right. Okay. So I yeah. ate once and drank once. Cool. So I have an empty skin. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I, I will be asking you for that momentarily. <laughs> now, who wants to do the previously on Torchbearer? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I would. I'd love to. Go but, ahead. I mean, yeah. technically, there's nothing really to recover, but let's do it. Oh yeah, that's right. No, but you can get fresh, can't you? Can no, you, you can't. Get... There's no way to get fresh. You no, you can get fresh if you re- if you return. Lies. No, you're not. You're not wrong. There's there's multiple. There's three ways to get fresh back. I mean, um, but this won't get it to you though. I don't think this will. But if you if like um, Sage is going to get it next turn because he doesn't have any nature to recover. And he doesn't have a condition to get rid of. So when he comes back, right. he'll be fresh. But I don't think this will. But it's cool. I'm, I'm oh, gonna... damn it. We should have gamed it. We should have gamed it. We should have yeah, saved Yeah, one of us ration. should have not eaten so yeah. that we could have, like, <laughs> delivered the speech. Next time. Next time. We'll be, we'll be better at... at more uh, efficient. Yes. We'll be more efficient next time. Uh, see, see, I'm I'm falling on the sword for all of you mm. because I can't deliver the next prologue. So, or the next the, the next last time, uh, you can't do it twice in a row. So, right. um, you gonna so, do it this time? Yeah, I'll do it this time. So last time we introduced all of our characters, um, and uh, and I will do that uh, just very briefly. We have uh, Linus Laster, who is not with us, but he is the mage that is always, had always, always forgotten who had a home alone moment where all the wizards like left and he's like, uh, guys and, and met up with us. And he really wants to find people that call him friends. Um, we have cadence serenadolin. I had to make sure I got that right. Who uh, is a bard, an elven bard that has traveled up and, uh, seeking adventures and assumes that all other adventures who have like failed and died have just been dumb and done it wrong probably probably true because they're not elves um we have basil who is the the priest sort of fell out of the way with uh, the clergy for believing that the people uh speak to the um uh speak the truth of the gods rather than the clergy and we have Bryn, who is an ex-convict that is serving her parole by going to the caves of chaos um we all wandered through what eric described as was these terrible awful haunted woods like covered in these like blood symbols and like creeping vines and it, it suddenly got dark from nowhere and like all vegetation uh was spoiled uh and as we uh made our way through the woods we following the signs we we went to the southern caves avoiding some noises that we heard up to the north to the north um, and uh, looking for goblins. And we saw these goblins that bit into the tree, these maple trees, notably. Uh, they bit into these maple trees, and uh, and apparently uh, over, we overheard that they liked the taste of it because uh, they were, like, vying for who got to bite into it. Uh, we, we sort of dodged past one group of goblins that were chomping on the tree, but got caught in the middle between Linus being separated and a goblin patrol coming out. Um, we tried to make friends with the patrol, um, but that did not really work. Uh, they, they, instead of taking our rations and calling us friends, they took our rations and called us friends. Like, why don't you come inside with us friends for dinner? Um, <laughs> we got hip to that and Linus with his quick thinking cast a spell of celestial music, which he made the sound of the orc war drums, which we had already talked about as being that, that the orcs and the goblins were not, not friends of one another. And, uh, half of the group, the group, the, the, the bark, Spiders um, flew off, ran off in fear. 
uh, but that left the patrol uh, for us behind, for us to be behind. And our leader, Basil, said, no more of this. We <laughs> see through your tricks. And uh, we drove them off with with spear and stone, with uh, crossbow, bolt, and shield. And uh, we were we were hungry uh, and thirsty uh, from the from the endeavor, but otherwise left uh, left out pretty unscathed. Yes, perfect, excellent. I, I, I forgot yeah. that was the leader. Yes. Yeah, you you're, you are the leader <laughs> of this adventure until we go on another adventure. All right, I don't think we will. Mm-hmm. Game face on. Awesome. Yes. Get your, get your leader face on. So, um, I added an, added an additional thing to the roll twenty for you as players Ooh. to see, and I maybe I can bring it on screen as well. Um, I have a player's map for the cave entrances, so that helps explain what we're kind of looking at, right? Because it's a horseshoe uh, shape. There's, see, there were multiple entrances here, and you're hearing diff- vague different noises. And I just wanted to explain: we're in the one that's closest to the cardinal rose in the in the in the bottom. We're in this. Okay. We're in the one in the um, bo- this bottom right section here, right? I just wanted to this explain bottom that. right section. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah that is because to... there's a lot to 20? explain, and I and I don't want to ruin and sully this amazing backdrop and the style of here and stuff. But I wanted to give you guys something to uh, to understand the positions of different entrances into these caves because there's a lot, and I want that to be accessible. These and what um, you've seen so far. These curves on it, these are like elevations, yeah, right? Like uh, topography so lines. Yeah. Is the bottom the middle or is the bottom like is it a we're, a, we're in like an it, amphitheater right yeah it's like, like an amphitheater a like a sta- yeah like half a stadium yeah exactly so we went down we we, we we traveled down a few of these gradation levels to get yeah. to this cave that we're at right now no because right? we're at you, the bottom you, cave. you came in actually from the other way you came in from the south uh southeast and so you mm. kind of like looped into this cave. This, this oh, cave. I see, I see. So it goes up from here. Yes. So we, we came yeah. in at the bottom level and it, go, it we could go exactly. up higher. Yeah. We could climb this. Yep. Awesome. And then that big old, yeah, exactly. And that big old horseshoe valley, uh, that's where you saw the rock biters chewing those maple trees. Mm-hmm. And that's where all this nonsense happened. The exactly. bark biters. Yeah. Our bark, rock, yeah rock, biters. rock biters are from rock biters. never ending story. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to cry now. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, everybody. Now we're all gonna right. take our break while we all yeah. feel <laughs> have some feels. All right, we all take the sad condition. Um, <laughs> okay. What do you want to do? Remember, there's that cave entrance that's close to you. There's no um, light right now. No. Wait, yeah. Did we? The, there are smells of meals being had in that cave near you. To, so we recall. We drove them off outside away the from cave, the cave. Then? Yeah. Yeah, but we weren't in the cave when that happened. We were no, not. This was all outside. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's a really good point. I think a couple of you were, uh, remarked. I think it was Sage and you, Sean, that remarked that you maybe wanted to look around to see if there's anything valuable that was dropped in the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think I was talking originally about you know did they drop those rations? Oh, goals. And 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 mm-hmm. and your goal was to 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 find yeah. stuff. Um, so uh, Br- Bryn has very s- hard start, Sean. We What's didn't that? write our we didn't write our goals. Oh, goals! That's what you meant by goals. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yep. I'm a professional at this game. I'll I know go, what I'm I'll doing. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh, I forgot. We're totally. total pros. Goals. I've like scaled back my goal from last time of of leave with more than I had, um, <laughs> to like a shorter term and also, uh, you know, not so uh, such an infinite. You know, it's just get my hands on some treasure. I want to know, even if I don't keep it, I want to know that there's treasure to be had. I want to feel the treasure. I want to s- smell it. I need to get my hands on some treasure or else I'm going to lose yeah. some of this, this you know, this good energy that I've got going for adventure. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Okay. I like it. My goal is staying the same because I did work on it last time, and I think it's I think it's uh, potentially achievable. Which is I'll make allies one of the tribes in these caves, um, and uh, you know we we we've been talking about trying to make friends with the goblins. So um, yeah, I think it's worth even if I can't achieve it. I think it's I can I can still keep working on it. I think I'm I'm gonna change mine, and I I want to just make sure you you all don't think that this is me losing faith in you. Because my previous goal was ensure at least one of us returns, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think I want. Uh, an, I want some, to watch one of them die. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I want to make sure only one of, no. Um, <laughs> you were mentioning that last time. You're like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see eventually my... I, I think I think I want to get uh, some sort of... Um, Oh god, it's such it's such a it's such a minefield of language because we're dealing with D and D here. But I'm going to say like an artifact or relic of uh, the goblin religion, and I don't mean that as in the technical D and D term as a magic item, but just like a some sort of uh, fetish or or something that they uh, some evidence of the goblin religion. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, so you want to look around for a sign of that? Or, or a symbol, something tangible. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna steal it because I'm not necessarily the best person. But um, I'm, no, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh look, found something nice. I'm gonna take that. But okay. I think that fits a little bit in with my belief too. I think these goblins might be trying to tell us something. Or the gods it might be trying to tell us something through the goblins. Through the goblins, yeah. The goblins yeah. are just kind of... Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a really good point. Okay. So, um, how do, how should we resolve this first? Who's who's doing the first thing here? So, are, are you just going to be I'm searching I'm doing around? the first thing. Okay. I'm doing absolutely doing Great. the first thing. I am lighting a lantern. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. <laughs> nice. So, you're, putting, so you're you refilling see. it. Keep in mind, yeah. um, it was empty last time, so now it's yeah. full. So yeah, oh, you have three turns yeah. Yeah. of light. And so, uh, Bryn, Bryn is quick to speak up, but you know uh, she may not be as quick to act if 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 Cadence if Cadence dives in here. Um, Bryn, like Bryn, look when when the lantern is lit and you, we see the um, the the area the trees around us. Mm-hmm. Bryn crosses her arms and looks at the the bark bitten um, uh, the the bark bitten tree. She's like, just looks dismissively, and she, she says, "That's the worst way I've ever seen to get maple out of a tree." I really <laughs> want to have faith in these goblins, but they are testing me. I mean, it's and a she, very, very simple, simple procedure, really. It's just a little, little hole and a little nozzle. And as you say that, she's pulling out a she's pulling out an iron <laughs> spike from her from her pack and her hammer. She's like, "Yep." You're right, Cadence. It's a very simple procedure. And I'm going to fix this. Um, <laughs> and uh, so uh, I want to make a. I want to make a uh, maple, maple nozzle. Trap. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, for their uh, so they can they can they can extract it. Um, so we can extract it efficiently. What's your set disarm so, traps? But I feel like we should resolve uh, the thermal crazy. sink first. But that's good. Oh yeah okay. yeah. Sorry, was Basil's thing more than lighting the lantern? I'm sorry, I, I apologize. Oh, that's I all right. No, you're I not going to look for. It sounded like you were looking for something religiously significant. Oh, I would definitely look around. I just wanted to make sure we had light before we did anything. That's yeah, yeah. that was my my yeah. main thing. Okay. If yeah. we're if we're into looking for things, then I'm into looking right. for things. But I yeah. can wait. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then let's let's handle let's handle Bryn's thing real quick. Um. Yeah. So you're gonna go into this tree. Um. Do you know anything about trees? I mean, you know it's a uh, well, maple tree. You know there's maple syrup in it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's like a tall bush kind of thing. Well, right? I mean, Bryn, 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 <laughs> Bryn's lived in the Wolfwood Hills and is a steward. Um, she's uh, she's mostly around, you know, fields and animals. So I don't think trees are her fourth right or her okay. nature at all. But crafting is in her nature. Right. So making a a tool out of nothing is um, uh, is something that she is she is skilled in. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I don't think I know like where the maple is, other than no. in the tree. No, um, the trees. I, I bring that up because the tree's bark is very soft and it's blackened. It seems to be a little mushy. Mm. Not just where the goblins bit it. It seems that this tree has these spotches all over it, so and it it's... seems to emanate from that crude blood-drawn symbol. Of the arrows in eight directions. I see. So there's there. It's sort of seeping out. Um, yeah. So I think I I think already. Does that change last, anything? Or? Well, last time Linus sort of took a bite of the bark and it was like, oh, it's or maybe it was basil. Somebody it was took me. a bite of the bark. Yeah. And it was like, 
it's maple tree bark. Um, yeah. Uh, was that some of this blackened, softened bark? Or no. Was that... No, because that's not the part where the goblins bit. Okay. Um, yeah, so obviously the goblins are interested in this blackened bit. And so possibly instead of going for the maple at the core of it, they they want, I mean, they were, they were, they were eager, you know, they said, ah, oh, I want, I, 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 it's my turn next. So they were eager to bite into it. So if it's coming from this symbol and it's sort of oozing out, um, I think, uh, does it, does it appear to be oozing out a look, you know, using the lantern light, does it appear to be oozing out of any particular part of the symbol, like the center of it, or is it just coming, coming from where? No, it seems to just be spreading from, from it. Oh, I this, see. This, this, this <coughs> light. Yeah. I'm not going to mince right. words. It's definitely seems to be some sort of blight that's affecting the tree. Yeah. Are there other trees that look like very blighted? Like around like super dead oh, trees? Oh, yeah. There's definitely yeah. there's definitely a couple of trees here that ha- just have no leaves on them. It's just, you know, instead of the multicolored fall trees that you would expect, um, we see just like as it was winter. They're very sick. Yeah, and the goblins were clearly into that. Like they liked the blighted bits. Is that mm-hmm. is that right? Yeah, it seems like they were trying to bite to those parts. Yes, that seems right. Huh. Yeah. Uh, nitrogen content in the soil can lead to fungal infestations <laughs> on the trees. It's perfectly normal. Bren looks at you and's like, Bren looks at Cadence is like high nitrogen content, and she points. <laughs> With like she's got that she's got the the the, 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 the the spike out like she's ready to puncture this tree. Yeah. And she points at like this blood symbol. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm like sure. oh that could do it as well. What is that? <laughs> I'm sure that's high nitrogen content. Uh, well, we've seen these before, and we haven't been able to ascertain their right. We I think we're running under the assumption that they were a symbol for one of the. Tribe, clans right? or yeah, yeah. Like, like like marking the way or the, either the way there or their boundary line or something right yeah but if if something's emanating from them that gives me uh you know the goosebumps which is my wizard site i don't have the same wizard site that linus has but i have <laughs> i have yeah. the same natural wizard site that all mortals have yeah um, um yeah, yeah, I, th- I think... Sorry, go on. Uh, I was going to mention that I think it's definitely clear without any sort of role that um, the closer you've gotten to these caves, the more prominent um, and creepy the woods have become. Um, the more blighted trees you have seen. Like, this is you're closer to sort of the epicenter of this blight. Or, or maybe, I guess I could... I don't want to say, like, power, but um, it's more potent in this yeah. area yeah, right? yeah, yeah. than, than the, the periphery where you first encountered these. Right? So That's, should we, should we, okay, I'm t- speaking yeah. now to the group here so that I, because, mm-hmm. you know, in Torchbearer, if you accidentally yeah. say something to the GM, you uh, That's why I always have an act, I always got to have an accent for my character <laughs> yes. so I can do lots of out of character jokes without getting uh, out of trouble. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. should, should we, should we spend some time investigating perhaps what lies up around us, like what they may have dropped and stuff like that, and well, then yeah, move I, caveward? I was, or... I was definitely going to look around because I had handed them a grappling hook and a lantern uh, right. right at the beginning of the fight <laughs> so that they would drop a spear, uh, and I'm pretty sure they they just put that down. I, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if they, with they, don't, they accepted it, yeah. Uh, so... I think Bryn's yeah gonna back off. Her whole plan was, oh, they like the ma- they like the sweet maple. I will extract oh, that. We'll from make them. a gift. Yeah, we'll make a gift, and we'll, further, we'll give them the ability to extract it on their own by leaving this this this. this you know. Well, if they like the gunk that they they were chewing on, um, can I like take a uh, a ration use and like? God, I don't know if I really want to do this. Well, you're asking, kind of can design. I? So oh, you're asking for yeah. a feasibility. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, I? So, it's a better question. I was thinking it might be interesting to try to hold up some rations to this stuff and see if it creeps onto there. Because um, if they Ooh. like that stuff, then we'd have goblin rations. Right. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to test it. I'm like, hold up a piece of, of like meat on there and see if the, like uh, it starts getting tainted some some elven prosciutto mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah 
Right. I mean, you just you dangle a piece of bologna in front of the, the saddle. <laughs> slap it on there. Ah, you slap it on there, and you you. It seems to get stuck to the tree, but you peel it back off, and yeah, some of the the black, oozy stuff gets on the piece of meat. It's ruined. Okay, I'm gonna like make like a, a nasty sandwich, and then I'm gonna like wrap it up and see if later if I take out the sandwich, it's like completely turned into right the right. stuff or what. Yeah, I mean right so, now yeah. it just looks like you, you just have rotten yeah. bark on a piece of meat. Maybe I, like, sprinkle a little water in there. So I'm basically... Like, just, I'll just moisten this a bit. <laughs> just basically yeah. a Panera, yeah. So I tuck away my Panera sandwich. <laughs> Panera sandwich. Yeah. And, and then, then I look Prince's for my goods. like, that's a, that's a waste of a perfectly good sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's, it's, it's for the benefit of science. Yep. Cut off one of your rations, but yeah, you have that, right. Or just uh, denote yeah. one of your rations now is yeah, it's rotten. One nasty, one good. Just say one, nasty. One tainted yeah. Rat. yeah. <laughs> All right, one so a rat. quick rules check. Is that yeah. then part of the grind? Like that was one action that we did, or do no, we? No. Okay. No, as, there's as, no as long role. as you're just describing your actions. Oh, yeah, that's a roll. That's yeah. what yeah. it was. I knew roll, there was a distinction. That was, yeah. yeah. No, that's a good point. So right now, there's been there's nothing, but also not a lot of time has happened, and... You know, those goblins ran off, and maybe you're feeling a little confident and yeah. comfortable with taking your time. So that's okay right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, then I'm going to take a look at the surroundings and see what we can find lying yeah. upon the ground. Yeah, see what the goblins dropped. Right. Cool. Um, so let's let's go ahead and do that. So, um, Basil, you're the one who's going to be making... So I'm going to describe what you can find right now, and then if you want to really push and things like that, then that would be a test. So... To your best of your ability, looking around, there's a little bit of scraps of goblin meal. Um, there's a lot of footprints and mud. You might pick up, um, a, a, let's just say there's a necklace made of bone, right? A little, like a tooth <laughs> necklace yeah, makes on sense. the ground. But, all, um, from all the teeth that have gotten knocked out. Yeah, they're not human teeth, for sure. And uh, then you, I think, I think the closer you get to the cave, you see that maybe based on the direction, it seems to be random, just in terms of the distribution and, and quantity, but there are different bones. There's more and more bones near the en entrance of this cave, right? Well, um, I'm, I'm going to take that I, tooth necklace. Yeah, sure. They look to be, you know, there's a couple, like, squirrel skulls. Then there's, like, a large, you could almost guess maybe, like, a uh, like a shin bone or, or something. Uh, maybe, like... A femur of, of of like a like a coyote or something. These are just uh, then there's a couple or... more that you just cannot distinguish. Can I look at? But yeah, can they I look seem at to them be to see arbitrarily. If they're not they're not in a pile. They're not neat. Um, they're just scattered around. I want to see if there's like nibble marks and and try to establish maybe a, a tooth size if there are right. such marks. <laughs> yeah, they definitely look like they were been into. Some, some of them look like they were bleached or, or strained, like there's no marrow in them. Right? Hmm. Looks like... It's like someone made a little bit of everything stew. They're in varying <laughs> degrees of decomposition. I'm... Which I think, I mean, you're not a forensic person, like you know what I mean? But like, you, you can tell a difference between yesterday uh, kill and... and two years ago kill, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I yeah. will say that I'm becoming a little bit more and more disappointed that we did miss out on the goblin dinner. I'm curious what they would have served us. Uh, I think it was uh, Bryn picks up like a, a femur that maybe, you know, a, a long bone it's that very, like maybe could be from a, big, from, <laughs> from a big animal, possibly a person. She's like, mm, I don't think we wanted to find that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, do you, is it worth? Look, I don't. I don't think a hungry goblin's going to be a friendly goblin. We've got to try to get around that next time. Well, that's. I've... Was was the grappling hook and the lantern lying about on the ground as well? The one that um, uh, Cadence handed to the goblins. Um, you can't see it. There, that would require a roll to find. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll definitely use use uh, a roll to, to yeah. try, try to read. All right, all right, read right. My goods. So, Gaines, are you gonna are you gonna since they were your things, are you gonna search for them? Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll poke around. Let's see. I mean, Perfect. there's. I don't know exactly what you think this is. Scout. Um, really. 
I think it's actually going to be survivalist. Um, probably more like scavenger. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I have any scavengers, so that's not. Well, that's a great way. time to learn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's always a good time. Can, to learn. Everybody can help with beginners. Like so, so when looking, should I be be tearing up roots of plants and and such? How deep do I need to go here? Yeah. Uh, I'm like scraping through. I know it was in this general area. <laughs> um. So, what is the rule for something you have Health. to know? The, oh, the root skill? of this, yeah, the root of of scavenger. I'm pretty sure is health. I have the handout once again that gives you the root of all skills. Yeah, I just looked it up in the book, but... which is a really suspicious name. The root of all <laughs> skills, but um, yeah. Uh, okay. This again. Dice. So yeah, you, you take your you take Testing your health, health, and then add any helping dice that we give, and then split that in half and round up. We're just giving those with with our health as well, right? Yeah, I mean, we can technically help with uh, scout, scavenger, or health. So it's anybody can help. Yeah. Uh, or you could help with a wise if you had one that was useful for. Uh, and bandit wise. Right, so, yeah, necessary. I'm just like. This is a moderately difficult Basil, test. Basil, come hold the light for me. Yeah, I'll Bring. help with health. These bushes keep whacking me in the face. Cool. <laughs> Yep. So Rental, I get them to like help clear, help clear help the help area and like area. shine the light as yeah. I'm like crawling around. Yeah. So you're all kind of like. Uh, my rating is four. Yeah. Submit. Traits. Uh, you have to do the having yourself. So if you're rating, you, your health oh, is it's four. Two. Two. Okay. Your health is two. No, no, it's four. So I have it to two. Is that what you're saying? Well, you're gonna um, get two helping dice. So you go up to six, and then you'll have it. So your base is gonna be three. Yes. And so your base is three. Um, traits get factored into that too. The only thing that doesn't get factored in is if you want to spend Persona to tap your nature or Persona to add dice. That Those are the two things that do not get halved. Thank you. Yeah, I was just looking that up because I those remember are, there yeah, was... Those are, those are the things that are immune to the having-ness. The having. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's how it yeah. is in Mouse Guard, and I don't feel like looking it up. So I'm. Uh, it, there. It, I, I think weapons in conflicts also. Oh, yeah, of course. But, of like, course. it's. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll check it out. Just, yeah. I don't think it's going to be relevant, but. Yeah. Right. Um, um, so, since we're making. Uh, you're building your pool, I'm obligated to tell you it's an OB3 test. Um, normally, it would be more difficult to find things in the wild, but given the circumstances that you just had a battle here, I think it's easier than what it should be. Mm hmm. Um, um, so my traits, my only trait is curious. Um, but I mean, the only reason I'm looking is because I'm wondering if they stole it or not, right? I'm very curious. I'd love to know whether or not my shit is around <laughs> here. <laughs> right. So, um, mm, uh, so that makes you get, do traits, traits and like persona points bent? do get added after. So I'm looking yeah. on page 26. Perfect. Traits, persona points, and, na and tapped nature and fresh right. condition. Um, Get out of go on after. after. Yeah. So. Perfect. Yeah. So um, after. Okay. So that leaves me at three right now. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. I think here's uh, yeah, here's here's my three. question for you. Do you want do you want this die? Do you want this curious trait <laughs> to be added? Uh oh. <laughs> Are you gonna put your hand into a little like ratty hole in this tree nearby? I mean, are if, you curious? If, if the hole is is large enough to fit a grappling hook, which I <laughs> yeah. imagine is about this big, there's something or shiny a in there. It could be your grappling hook or your lantern. Yeah, it looks I like mean, it might have made it just I better and find went in out. There. That makes sense. You're curious, right? I wouldn't. Yeah, totally. I mean, I don't know until right, I you find out. Is the you would, thing you're not gonna put your okay? You're you're gonna put your hand in. Okay, so you're gonna put this. your hand in this 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 ratty. There's nasty, something shiny in there, this Eric. Because it's something shiny. Okay, I'm shiny. all right. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, op three. Uh, okay, so right. So I say, uh, two one help. Uh, op three. Oh. oh. Oh no! Wait, I don't not think quite. That, I don't think that had my. Uh, no, that I mean you got two. You rolled three dice, right? Yeah, okay. you should roll one more because yeah. we're at six dice halved. Wait, why it's is three. This? It's three plus you used curious. Plus my trait. Yeah. Oh yes. So I need to. I need well, to isn't a trait? This. Isn't a trait? Do you round up? You do round up, but also traits okay. get added after. We just found out. Oh. Traits, traits, traits go after. So it wouldn't. But so, either way, it wouldn't matter. It would still be an extra die. Okay, extra die it up. Okay, come on, baby. One more d six. Not not enough, but you got two sixes, and I think you have some fate since last session. 
So I oh, yeah. before before I rule not. this a failure in your way, I have, I have a persona. Yeah. Well, no you didn't. That's okay. probably not gonna. That's not enough to luck. Do you have an applicable wise and want to reroll all failures here? Do you want to want to burn your persona here, or do you just want to take the L? Hmm. I mean, um, it's better to use them. Yeah, I mean, I'll spend my persona. So is that a re? Uh, what is the? That's well, not re rolling. It, it has fails. to tie That's... into a wise. So it has yeah, to tie into wise. exactly. It has to. It's called the um, of course moment, and it's the. I was about to make a horrible mistake, but not anymore because of my wise. And you have to explain uh, why. Well, I know I, my wises are all about arts and crafts. Uh, I'm elven craft wise yeah. and human art wise. Um, so I'd probably recognize whether something uh, was foreign crafted mm. or uh, crafted of the peoples that I know. Hey, that's a really good point. Yes. So if I was like, ooh, that's shiny, and then I saw, like, you know, the, the, the shining of the moon, like, arc across it in a funny way, and I'd be like, well, that's not the shape of, <laughs> of any of the lanterns we have. Uh, Elvish lanterns don't reflect don't, don't. the moon like that. Elvish, <laughs> Elvish lanterns have a sexy curve to them. Uh, <laughs> no, that's this brutal is, curve. This, this one's, yeah, yeah brutish. And, uh. mm -hmm. Okay, so what does spending persona exactly get me mechanically? You burn persona. Mechanically, you re-roll all your failures of this roll. So you okay, can re -roll so two dice. Come on. Don't fail me now. Damn it. <laughs> all the threes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> that's my luck when I roll. No, I, this game I mean too. if you if so you laugh, good. it makes the audience laugh along. It's perfectly oh, healthy. Oh, bummer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So not great. And everyone, you all helped him, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm like yeah. I'm like ooh. I'm like, lift so, me up so I can reach. It's in the really hole. it's really back there, and so you're like you're trying to get your hand. Even you're pretty lanky. You're trying to get in there, right? I think everyone's trying to get in there, and so since y'all helped, y'all have to make some health tests for me. Okay. To survive. Okay, everyone. Nice. So uh, a, a bit of paper thing. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Virgil, you can mark Elvin craft wise. You can mark the little persona mm -hmm. checkbox because you spend a persona, and you can also make a. F you can also start scavenger. Oh, I, uh, with, with a what failure. You put in there? You, one you failure, and then after you fill up all those, I get level one. All four. Uh, yeah, you just have to. You have to get your nature in. In either hell, in either fail or successes on beginner's luck. Yeah. So, let's order order of business for accounting for your skills, Virgil. Mm, Number so one, one, let's talk about the scavenger test. You you succeeded at one attempt on the skill. The number of attempts you must make is equal to your maximum current nature, not your current nature, but your maximum current nature. So mm -hmm. like, it's, I don't, I don't have your character sheet open. Four. It's probably like four. Yeah. So you need to do three more attempts before you learn the skill, and it comes in at two. Uh, second order. Uh, your use of your wise. Mark that. Um, you can either mark it as a fail or a persona spent to it. All right. Well, I'll use the persona because that seems more more yeah. uh, beneficial. Right. I think so that's I how that, that works. So, yeah. Cool. There you go. And then um, take away that my all... persona. So yeah. zero once play, all that zero persona. And uh, lots of threes on the yes. dies. Um, once all four of those things lock in to your um, to your wise. You can do two, uh, one of two things. One, you can learn a new wise uh, to replace it. Or two, um, you can mark a applicable attempt, a pass or fail, or a, an attempt on a skill that was relevant to your journey with that wise. Mm -hmm. um, those are the two things you can okay. do. Right? So you can eventually and skill yeah, up you or keep, get new wises. Keep the wise, <laughs> skill up, clear the checks, or get a new wise. Um, those are your two choices, I think. And once mm -hmm. again, that's what Mouse Guard does, and I presume that Mouse Guard Second Edition stole, ripped I th from the. I, I think Bear, that so. is exactly correct. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Yep. So your lantern ticks down a little bit, but yes. So like I said, so back into the thing, you all were buying to get your hands into this, um, into this tree, right into this nasty hole, and none of you were able to grab it. So it's just sitting there. Um, but then you look at your hand, and your hand is now like, it's burning, and it's not great. So I need you to make a health test for me. Um, All of us are just yeah. Okay, testing health. My skill is four. Because you you all helped. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're all, all involved. exposed to this. Yeah. 
If we had and, used a wise to help, we would we'd be able to distance ourselves. And when you're not when you're not initiating an action, then we can't help each other, right? Is that correct? Like yeah, this is this. So I'm being generous in saying this only counts as one tick on the grind for making these health tests, mm -hmm. and not three individual ones. But all you right. all individually have to make these health tests. Got it. Because this is the effect. This is what's our this is the, ob? Uh, this is an ob three test. Oof. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Here we ob go. three health. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. yeah oh, not... perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Of course, Kids your go. your elven goodness protects you <laughs> here. Uh, no threes okay, there. That's... No. It's... Helps if I figure out what my health is first. Health is five. All right. Go. Feels like when you cut your finger and then you're slicing jalapenos. <laughs> it's discomforting. It's exactly what it feels like. Uh... Nope. Hello. I did get a six, um, but you got a six. Do you wanna? So I before I, I describe what failure is, chance to... I think I only have one. Uh, so so mark a pass for my health then, right? Yes, that's a pass yes. for I just want to make sure I'm yeah. playing right. Yeah. yeah. Cool, thank you guys. Some of us get to mark a failure from there. Good, good. I mean, I like that we're all <laughs> progressing so <laughs> thoroughly um, through our health. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine failing it. Do you mark... <laughs> oh, if you help somebody, you don't mark that you help them for a test, no. right? No, that's, no. That's but we're, we're all marking our health right And now. spending a check to do that. Okay, yeah. good. I'm just making sure. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. great. So, everyone who failed your test, great news. Hmm. You are all struck with an immediate fever that goes right to your head. You have Perfect. visions. Your your eyes, um, your vision turns red, um, and and you all pass out. Um, and you, you have uh, terrible visions of... of dark skies and like in the thunderous clouds of red lightning you see the symbol everywhere and you see you hear ob obtuse chanting on, in a language you don't know um, it is a terrible vision um, and it just seems that the smell of, of incense of foul incense and, and blood is just everywhere and and you wake up and um, this, this maybe a minute has gone by Mm -hmm. um, but to you guys in the vision, it felt like an hour. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm like splashing water on your faces or something. Yes. <laughs> nice. And wherever you're, uh, I will leave it up to you uh, where this is, but on your skin is that blood symbol. Oh, nice. Nice. Maybe it's right now a rash. Maybe it's a scar. I'll leave it up to you. Um, but. You have been, yeah. you've been touched. Do yeah, we have I, a, um, another condition that we should mark off, or are we? I hate to ask that. I really no. Do. This is this no. is not okay. a condition. Got it. Thankfully, you're not sick or anything like that. But um, this is a great twist I can invoke at any right. point in the future because of this. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I, I think Bran, like that 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 gunk got on her hand, and when yeah. she when she. Um, when um, she wakes up from it and she's like, you know, freaks out because obviously this is a terrifying thing and she wipes the gunk away. She sees the rash up on the back of her hand where it was. Totally, totally. Real quick. Like, oh, yeah, it looks like you're having a reaction. <laughs> if you want, if you want, you can eat my sandwich. It should should update okay, your yeah. immune system to uh, yeah. come back. I, wanted I mean, to maybe confirm, not. Yeah. I just wanted to confirm because your character sheet said it, though. None of you are lawful, right? Oh, let me check. No, I don't think I am. Sure uh, I don't. I didn't put an alignment yeah. in. Is it? Is it a? Is it a law that I have to have an alignment? Yes. Because well, if so, then I'll be unlawful. <laughs> oh shit! So you're uh, um, Well, there's three alignments, Virgil. Okay, what there's is it? Law, uh, lawful. The the ideas of obedience, civility, uh, civilization, and order. Um, chaos, which is uh, entropy, change, dynamicism. Um, the waterfall method, the agile method, and screw it i just want cool products uh the unaffiliated it is the i rather care uh, about friends family and a good meal which is the unaffiliated i am so, unaffiliated yeah uh, un yeah, yeah. Right, so like it's so like pro project management jokes aside law civilization chaos and entropy uh entropy um and just that i don't these high concepts don't matter uh friendship is what matters and and food and whatever that's that's for that's mm -hmm. for the that's for gods, not not for people. Um, I uh, 
I think the symbol manifests on <clears throat> Basil as a rash mm -hmm. on his chest, and he's Ooh. scratching at it. Yeah. <clears throat> and eventually he's going to peek to see what it is, because uh, you do from time to time, uh, mm -hmm. and realizes that it's the symbol, so he opens... Oh, wait a minute. I got, like, some kind of armor on, don't I? Yeah, you're wearing... I think you're wearing some sort of chain, right? I don't think it's... It might be oh, leather. just leather? That's cool. Um, I mean... But you can it like could you, be you can see it. Yeah, you can, you can probably your leather like, hover, yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, you, can, you could feel it. Yeah, it's definitely there. But I kind of want to walk with him with his hairy it's, chest um, out with the the symbol showing I in mean, pride. Basil, I'm gonna say this because I feel like you as a as a cleric as an acolyte, yeah. unlike other ones, it's calling to you. Oh um, yeah, it's a channel for spells. The same way that your holy symbol is, uh, the rosary. Nice, thing, right? It's saying like, "Use me," right? In, yeah. in your head, in a, in a very like, and not not in like a forceful way. But it's mm -hmm. like, "I'm here if you want me." Right. You know, it's a very pleasant holy it. symbol that I'm enjoying. Yeah, it's, it's on you. It's like I'll never leave you. That's what <laughs> yeah. it says, right? I'm here. I'm always here for you. Some gods are closer oh. than others. Yeah. Ooh, that's. I would love it. If it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's what it says to me, right? <laughs> Right, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's what it says to you. Uh, so, so I'm, I, you know, as they finally snap out of it and the, the fever suddenly breaks, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm just like, oh, thank God, I've, I've saved you. Quick, uh, we need to get into the cavern. Can lay around all day. So you weren't able to grab whatever was in there, right? So no, but now, no. now, now that I've, you know, people are just laying around having seizures. It's like right. Let's inside. get indoors. Yep. Yeah. So you hurry into the goblin caves, right? I am down with that. <laughs> as long I think, as we have I think, like a uh, little bit of light left. I think Bryn is trying to see if, you know, mm -hmm. what she just had was was a, um, uh, an, you know, an, what what really just went on. And so she's looking at Bas Basil and Cadence to see if anyone else experienced it. And if, Basil, if you like reveal yours, um oh yeah definitely i'm i think i i, I have leather i checked i do have leather armor uh it's probably not buttoned up in the top but i'm like uh you know, <laughs> like letting out the the leather straps here so you can right, see, you can see it. my yes. hairy chest the and tasteful, my tasteful not chest hair yeah tattoo at the top yeah 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 it's a deep v cut yeah <laughs> yeah got it cool yeah so you guys enter the first chamber Right, um, this natural cave quickly turns into workstone tunnels. Um, yeah, there's passageways here, and they seem to have been very busy and used. Um, right, so right now, um, there's nothing you can. It seems that there's sort of like a uh, a T kind of intersection left in left and right. Um, you hear shuffling in both directions. Um, this there's also this overwhelming smell of fresh meal that just seems that once again it's just, it's permeating this whole area um not a lot of there's some spice it's nothing it's probably like cumin and turmeric um wait human and what no yeah human and turmeric <laughs> yeah, is a but, classic yeah. goblin but the dish meat, the meat you cannot put your 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 finger on or, or your your taste mm -hmm. buds to yeah mm. and based on the bones that you found out there I'm not sure if you want to yeah but um yeah it's right so there's two directions you can go right now um and we hear noises go, uh, from both from, from from both of them yeah right and lighting wise is it dark inside is oh it, absolutely is there... yeah no it's 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 completely dark in here um however when you see the lantern going around you definitely look like this used to be a um this is sort of like a staging area you see like a little rack where like spears would be they're gone mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i wonder so... who took them Oh wait, it was that group that you just met, um, who might be but, coming uh, back at any moment. I, I'm no, I know a bit of lore, Eric. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cadence does. Mm -hmm. um, would I know uh, if if like fine stonework such as this would be built by goblins or? I, I was mean, just thinking the same thing. I imagine like, this that they kind of just to... lived in a hole in the ground, and not like a hobbit hole either, just a hole oh, yeah. in the ground. No, it definitely turns into uh, more and more work stone. Um, at, so basically, 
the room that you're in is natural cave, but then each of the veering paths look very much more squarey and into work stone, crudely work stone, as Bryn would clearly um, see. Yeah. This is <laughs> not. This was not done with the um, diligence and care of um, those who are born born of earth and stone. This likes it was done in a uh, feverish attempt um, to almost almost to insult those who would take care in building something that should last a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bryn kind of However, pulls at like yeah. a loose stone uh, that's, you know, not, that isn't mortared in well, and she yeah. says better than goblins, that better than I imagine goblins could craft, but and then as she pulls it, a like, little bit of like mortar dust comes out, but yeah. but certainly not dwarven, or really anyone who cared and she like there's a little part of her where you could see for just a moment she's like about to like get out her kit to like patch the stone back in and right. it's like you're like if they just chipped no. off this little bit it would slide right in she's <laughs> torn between like should i fix this this or not but this isn't what we're here for no um uh, you look at that piece of stone mm-hmm uh, I believe your craftsmanship wise would just. I'm just gonna give this to you right now. I, I, I have right. shrewd craftsmanship wise, yeah. Right. This was not made by Goblin Hand. In fact, this looks very old. This is this dates to the elves. Not, but like not saying elves made it. It's like this. This is this older is than super ancient. Yeah. The, yeah. This. This is. This is. You have your ken does not allow you to even know what this is. But this is incomprehensibly old. Right, given it's and just like the, mor it, the mortar is just like, yeah, into like, yeah, dust. It just, it's you don't basically by mm. your calculations, this place should have caved in, right? Mm. Like, there's no way this should have be this should even be held up this long, this shoddiness. Yet, here it is. Then I have a suggestion. I say we stick to the right because that's where more exits are, <laughs> according to our map. Oh. Yeah, we saw. We know that there's the other cave down. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's 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 good. But I think that there are, not to be overly superstitious, but I think there are dark forces at work keeping this, keeping this whole ca this whole cave system from collapsing. And she kind of, ac you know, un uh, accidentally scratches at the, the back of her hand, um, as, she, as she says it. And uh, but it's 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 certainly not enough to stop us from proceeding but but i i think that there's something arcane or eldritch yeah. she says that, that that prevents these walls from caving in on themselves well i should hope so yes, that, that sounds <laughs> doesn't reassuring look, doesn't look like the walls themselves I, are gonna cave. i i wouldn't be reassured i don't think so far from what we've seen <laughs> that it's friendly towards us well well it's an ancient cave sounds like i mean and uh you know what they say old money's the best money so <laughs> on we go lead, lead the way fearless leader <laughs> so you go to the right yeah yeah, yeah. right um cautiously of course do we need a marching order or something or yeah do we wanna i will need uh, a, i would need a marching order yeah should we stick with what the, what's up on the screen i think that's pretty uh, minus fine. linus yeah <laughs> minus, minus linus minus linus in the lineup <laughs> yeah immediate uh, I, all right i think find us for the sign up I think if we're <laughs> expecting trouble, which you should, Bryn going in front so you can see over her and also so she can use her crossbow unimpeded makes more sense. Oh uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, and um, yeah, just you're harder to shoot around than than yeah. So we have everyone in good light now. That's that is one of the things when you're minus Linus. That's one of the advantages. <laughs> Uh, I just want uh, to, yeah, Cadence, just keep an eye because that's you're in the rear where the goblins mm -hmm. may return. Right, so right. That's, that's where yeah. we saw them last. Yeah. yeah. So I can't remove that I symbol think... of chaos, which is probably what your character said. So, oops. <laughs> all right, that's fine. I can't remove it either. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, without without some, I'll do it on a break. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a good order. Um, wait, so is Cadence in front of you, Linus? Or, uh, like Basil? No, Cadence No, no, I'm in the back, back. In yeah. the back, but keeping an eye for the goblins coming up the rear. Right. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Sorry Perfect. about that. No problem. 
Good for me. Yeah, from behind. I mean, for... for... Yeah, there's just nothing we can do here. Yeah. From, from the south? He's watching our vanguard. From the south? Are they from the, the north? From the east. Yeah. Wherever they're coming from. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yes. So you guys, you, you cautiously approach the right-hand side. Um, thank goodness you're doing it cautiously as a string of bolts uh, fly down the hallway uh, in your direction. Um, pin cushing and with pretty good precision um but very crude looking bolts with hardly any like of the feathering or whatever and then you hear a cry in goblin briark 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 uh and they all <laughs> they all start shouting briark um uh, which you know briark means um yeah. i speak goblin I've yeah got it. it means all the treasures back here you stay know away. yeah it means yeah i think you do it means it's it's <laughs> Its literal translation is "Hey Rube." <laughs> hey so, Rube. Yeah, so like you know, it's probably it's clearly some sort of like warning sign, but yeah, like you know, it, that's what its literal translation is. I'm spelunking um, here. Yeah. So it's, hey, Rube. <laughs> uh, there's hey Rube. some movement around. Yeah. As in like Rube, as in newbie, as yeah. in yeah. Okay. Um, and it's several voices calling it. Yeah, Call, there's the yep. There's a there's a cadre of, of goblins who have seemed to have um, set up um, for for intruders back here. Cool. And uh, what happened? How, how are they set up? Yeah, they, I'm they sorry. flew overhead, or did they they hit us, or what? what no, have... like remember, like you guys were cautiously, like you poked your head around the mm. corner, and then yeah. Indiana Jones, like <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. shots go by. Um, when the shots miss, you hear the warning sh uh, cries go out. Um, then, like I said, you hear some motion around. You beat your head again. It looks like they're kind of also sort of like using the walls as cover and kind of like sure. turning and shooting. Um, so this is kind of like a windy passage. So we're yes. both using yeah. exactly yeah, both using the walls um, as cover. Yep, exactly. All right. Um, but yeah, it, obviously this place opens up to a another room, right? It, it clearly. Um, so to give you guys a literal idea of where this map should look. Um, you go down this right passage, and then it takes another right, like it gets closer to the entrance of where you where you came in, or like mm -hmm. that direction into the horseshoe thing. And then there's mm -hmm. the then there's this room. And so as soon as you start taking that right, uh, you see the goblins are poking around their left, and so they're looking at you and sh firing. Um, yeah, got it. Okay. So uh, you speak their tongue. Uh, tell them we mean them less harm than they mean us. Tell, tell um, them to send out a diplomat. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, I say, uh, uh, no Briark here. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, and, and I kind of like, um, po po poke my crossbow out slightly. Um, and uh, I say, we're armed as well, but don't, uh, <gasps> But, but but we're we're armed as well. But we uh, we don't uh, want to fight you. Um, uh, yeah. I poke I poke my tiny yeah. little knife out. As yeah, well. that sounds Just that sounds play. fair. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to show that we're not weak here because like yeah. just friendly to them was like a sign of weakness. So Brent's sort of sussing this out. Yeah, um, D a display of dominance, right? Yeah, or trying bring a, you a, a, a of, of dominance. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the goblins, when you, when you, I think they're surprised to hear you speak goblin so, so well. Um, and so I think what you, you hear, um, pretty, pretty clearly to the echoes of this cave and, and the, the sort of shuffle about right now, you hear someone say, oh shit, get Oog, get Oog. And, uh, that's, that's what you hear. Um, okay. Yeah. I think I do get out my nasty you hear a Panera sandwich. Being moved with, being played oh. with, and then right. silence so um, i say I, I say i say we have just a second to move they're, they're calling in reinforcements now um so we, so we should press forward we should either press forward or or or, or yeah. hightail the other direction like yeah, that's not there's right. there's no negotiating with these goblins right now let's okay. press forward okay <laughs> excellent uh yeah we charge yeah if the, if if it sounds like they're moving to a different position yeah. we're going to try and move up a position yeah i think it's i think it's pretty clear um in fact maybe i should amend my previous description sure. of what they say they say oh shit, it's not orcs 
get Oog anyways, is what they say. Okay. Ah, uh, that's right. good. I like. I kind of like yeah. the idea that Bryn is still trying to translate it. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> Something yeah. about we're, we're orcs. No, no, we're not orcs. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, Bryn, Bryn's, Bryn's like, um, uh, Bryn. It's clear that like the her one goblin mentor didn't it didn't have all the inflection <laughs> that many goblins do. Um, she's reflecting on that now. One day I hope to meet these orcs, <laughs> and then uh, forward. Uh, and yeah. let's see if we can. Yeah. So if we poke around the corner, distracted. does it look like they are pulling back to to get this Oog fellow? Is there is there is there a moment where we can s- run up to like the next point of cover? Um. Yeah. You want to want to try to do that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Or if they're like, your, if your they intention... have a straggler or something, yeah. we could like attack yeah. a straggler. Might be... Yeah. So your intention is to get in there and engage with them, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and we're we're trying to do it from we're trying to make sure that we don't run around the corner and all get pelted by crossbow bolts, right? Yeah. Like if and they've just fired and they need a moment to reload, or if they're moving back, that's a good time for us to run. Yeah, forward. and you want to do this before they get their reinforcements, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. So that um, it sounds like Bryn, you're the one leading this because that's kind of your idea, and you're the one who has been kind of pushing this anyways. So this sounds like a fighter test to me. Cool. Right to get that tactical advantage, right? I'm happy with that. Um, to set the to set the terms of an ensuing conflict, probably. I, I will definitely right. help on that. Cool. Uh, yeah, me too. I'll like uh, so we're, we're like triangulating, right? Yeah, like, I think psh, 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 we have like you know raptor, velociraptor <laughs> formation ready to go, coming from we the come sides. Out, we come out in our in our V formation. And, yeah, and I've got my, the flag V. <laughs> I got yeah. the shield out, and I'm just kind of you know laying low into it and pushing yep. forward. Well, yeah, I think it's like a riot could, shield. If yeah. you have the shield out, Bryn's gonna get behind it and fire bolts to, you know, scatter Suppress. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, totally. And I'm just Dark Souls roll. Dark Souls roll. Dark yeah. Souls roll. <laughs> That's a good tongue twister. <laughs> okay. Um, um, cool. So this yeah, let's let's do this fighter test to get into position. Cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna roll fighter. Uh it looks so like versus gonna... test, obviously. Right. Okay. Yep. That makes that makes total sense. I'm uh, I've got two helping dice from my, my friends who are moving up with me, um, and I'm rolling uh, six dice. You're rolling six dice. Ooh. I'm rolling five. Which means you should expect one success. <laughs> right? Is that is that is that how you roll? Yeah, um, I, I average about a six to one. That's great. Yep. And um, and I, I think I'm gonna use uh, Jaded, uh, where every time, uh, this is similar to our last encounter, where every time it feels like they might fall back, I'm like, no, goblins are cunning, like, and I, and I, and I, I make us move uh, more cautiously because I know they have ranged weapons and I know that, that um, they're, they're, they're prone to have traps and whatnot. So she doesn't charge ahead at all. She's like moving very meticulously and cautiously. And so that to- we're never like all three out to get like shot at and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I think I, I think the visual before we see um, what the role says is that you see two goblins that are clearly um, firing uh, short bows, like from like their sort of like wall sides coming down at you. But from your from your vision and the light gives you just enough that you see so there's some shadows of two other goblins that are fiddling with some sort of like ca- like cask or something, and they're trying to get some like sack out of this cask, and and there seem to be like. They want to get it like hurt, like they're both struggling to pull up this thing. You hear jingling of change, like like your coins. Nice. Um, but you don't know what they're doing with it. You don't know, but you see right. like they're trying to get this thing out. But they, they, but clearly, like this is something they're rushing to. So that's yeah. that's the kind of thing we'd like to get on top of. You yeah, know? to stop exactly. Yeah. Stop exactly, them from right. being able to pull whatever that is out because it's yeah. maybe a weapon, maybe an alarm. Who knows? But yeah, cool. Yeah. So we're we're charging ahead. Um, yeah. uh, skills. You're a dwarf. It smells yes. like gold. Ooh. In that that they're wow. pulling out. Nice. It smells. <laughs> you know, it it carries. Smells. It has it has an. Almost, I don't know. I Can don't I know hear what the it clink. Is. Yeah, hear, that's from the, like, you hear the, you hear the clink of change that that's weighted in a way that's only could be gold. Only could be gold. I look at I look at Cadence with like uh, a, a, a smile. Like you may find what you were looking for. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. How this rolls, and I'm gonna go up one because it's a versus. Yep, I'm ready to roll when you are too. I just did. Sorry. Oh, cool. Um, and I. Well, oh, never mind. 
Thanks oh, for oh my Thanks lord! For fire today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna try and uh, I'm not gonna try and explode my one six to try and beat your five. Right. Um. So I think what happens, I think. Yeah, you're not gonna try to to beat it. No. Okay. Um. I think I think what this looks like is they suppress you. Uh, yeah. You can't make it up the hallway in time. Yeah. And uh, you see them, they, they struggle, but the, you hear the crash of the barrel, and shit, you're too late. Um, they get the, the sack of coins out, and they scream out to Oog, Oog, come quick, come quick. It's um, human meat to eat, or I think is what they say. Sure. Um, and then you hear, thump, thump. It's not, re- <laughs> it's not reinforcement that you think, and then you hear in a loud... Uh, dim-witted goblin voice saying this best not be no lies and uh, <laughs> your heart sinks um, as something large um, seems to come out of the darkness you're not sure from where this thing comes they just threw this money into the shadow and from this shadow uh, you see this giant hulking thing look into the bag close it and grab a stick and uh a, a tree trunk and proceed to enter this fray and I turn to uh, my question, fellow companions question question <laughs> yeah yep. uh, if i'm i mean we have dim light shining over there i can hear jingling he's like looking in a bag or something yeah would i guess uh could i like estimate how much treasure i think that is in game terms <laughs> <laughs> Based on the weight of the bag, the approximate weight of the bag and size, I mean... Like 1D? Are we saying? <laughs> no, I have a specific no. reason I need to know this. Try, try like 10D. Okay. This is right. a big bag of gold. So I want, to turn, to, him. I want to turn to my companions yeah. and just say, the gods are telling us that's the way. Yeah, you <laughs> technically... <laughs> yeah. Let's your guess, I'm sorry, your guess is 10 uh, right? Okay, I'm so, not, that's so, not the actual yeah, amount, right. but like that's what it could be. Like it's, that's not with, you know, that's within one standard deviation of what it could be. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's there. It's a lot of money. So there's like so, a 62% chance it's 10 um, So you're, so, 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 but also he just kind of peeked in there, right? It's not like he was digging around or no, anything. No, but he, he, he picked it up and looked it in and was like, that looks about right. And it, you think, you think that an ogre is going to count every single coin? No. no, it's an ogre, by the way. It's not a giant, but it's just it's a it's a big yeah. old it's a big old ogre. And I think on the screen, um, you know, like if it was a video game boss monster comes in, if this was like Shadows of Mortar or whatever, it's just like Oog underneath it, <laughs> right. uh, you know, and it has a pose, and, and it, it shows comes in. terrified adventurers. Um, okay, well, I would like to throw. I mean, I think I think this guy's a treasure monster. And if I throw some treasure, he might go after that instead of us. Oh. It seems like he's only in it for the treasure. And if there was just free treasure on the ground, he's going to go for that. He might pick that up before My he... other plan was to just pay him more than they were paying him, but I can't do that. My yeah. question uh, my question my for you all is... Tertiary plan was to put 2D treasure on top of a bag of garbage? We're getting a, I think we're getting ahead, though, of what should actually be yeah. the question do right we, now, we, which okay. is... Should I stay or should I go? Well, no, no, yeah. I'm thinking if I leave behind treasure, it might be very easy to go. Right, which sounds like that's a good, like, move in the conflict. That's clearly So, so I think I I pull out, I think I, like, pull out my bag of treasure and, like, look to our leader, Basil, (laughs) and, and, like, make, like, I could dump out some treasure on the ground. Yeah. Right. Right. So... So what we're doing is we're going to go into a conflict, right? Is that what you're saying, Eric? We're going to yeah. do like, and we're trying to decide what kind of conflict, right? Mm-hmm. Is that basically? Yeah. Well, I we get to decide. Are we going to go chase? Are we going to go confront him? Or are we going to run away from him? I think yeah, we want to run around, away. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. You realize that, yeah, this is bad. Yep. Uh, let me just quick look at the conflicts here. This would be a flea conflict. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where? Oh. I thought you said he was an ogre. <laughs> well played. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Pursue or flee. Oof. Oof. Pursuing a flea is actually very hard. They just hop around, disappear. Oh my god. I'm 
Oh, I'm half tempted to try and drive him off just because I am better at that. Uh, how do you guys feel? <laughs> that that feels like a terrible reason. To... Yeah, no, okay. Uh, I've got two more dice for this, so... No, I mean, I firmly believe that, that dying uh, is not worth this. Treasure isn't worth losing lives. All right, let's so flee then. My let's belief flee. would be, yeah. Yeah, this ogre does not look like it messes around. Um, this ogre is not... I mean, it looks dim-witted, but it doesn't look stupid. It's looks like it's it's seen its fair share of combat and and no like this seems to be like an arrangement like oh okay this thing clearly had something with the goblins about if you paid it you know like this thing is used to being a mercenary right right, right. If, so, we, if we had if we had beat them to it and they couldn't pay it this would have been a totally different situation but yeah the cadence the but the cadence dice did has not. the plan so let's put cadence mm -hmm. in charge of the fleet does that make sense Sure. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. You're, you're in the back anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm in the front. Lead yeah, us from the, the rear. Front. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, we'll we turn around. Yeah. We're not, yeah, no, but we're not really fleeing. We're just kind of advancing in a different direction. Or, you know. Um, yeah. That's a that's a diplomatic way of putting it. That's, uh, what, that's what the Marines way of putting it. Yeah. yeah. We're, doing, we're doing a tactical withdrawal. Tactical yeah. withdrawal, baby. Uh, so do I need to choose some uh, cards first? No, first no. we have to roll okay. our disposition. disposition. So you so, said we're, we're doing a flea, right? Yeah, we want out. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's actually so, not that bad for this guy. Do you have a... I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> he, has um, long, he has long legs, I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky. Do you do you have... Uh, Cadence, do you have Scout? I do have Scout. I have <sighs> four in Scout. Oh, what's your health? Uh, four as well. Okay, this is this is much better than I thought. So for disposition, you're going to roll your scout and add your health to it. And I think we can help with your disposition, right? We all can it, jump as long in. As we have scout, yeah. Yeah, you have to have a oh. relevant, applicable. What else helps scout? So I'm gonna say eight for the rating. Uh, you'll have to look it up because I'm right, getting I'm looking um, mixed up. So, so I am curious Sorry. about uh, like. Like gaining extra die for spent, like spending, you know, using a, a dice of treasure you said could be like used in different ways. Uh, I think you're saying that you could use that as a weapon in the flea. Could I, yeah, could I use a one, one dice of treasure as a weapon against this guy in the flea to stall him? Like I'll throw like a, a very shiny gem on the ground. Yeah, that sounds like an applicable treasure. thing to do when it's your turn. Yeah. 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 Cool. For sure. All right. I've got nothing. I don't. Okay. So, uh, scout. The things that help Scout are Pathfinder and Hunter. I have neither of them, so I cannot help. Cool. Well, Scout also helps Scout, but yeah, if you're yeah, uh, I can I can. So uh, okay, so one help. So you're gonna roll. I think unless you're gonna add traits or anything like that, you're gonna roll five dice for Scout. What you got for traits? Uh, just you've already used use Curious positively, so yeah. keep that in mind. Unless it's a level two trait. Uh, it's just a level one trait. Uh, cool. Right? Trade level one plus one D seven percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I doing? So I get uh, four for my scout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more helping. Scout, submit. Four, submit. And this is um, uh, ob one for contest? Uh, it's yeah. ob zero actually for disposition because it doesn't count as a skill for anything. Okay, it's just counting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tres. Three, and then you add that to your health, so we've got a total dispo of seven. So two each plus one to one person. I did that in my head. Nice. <laughs> so eight, right? Yeah, or seven. Seven. So who gets the third? Uh, not bad. Let's give it to the person in the back. The new back. Who is okay. who is the that leader? Would be... our, our Basil. Alright. Okay. So something like this. Oh, I like this new screen. This is nice. And give everybody your disposition points to play with. And let's see if I can find an ogre. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. 
Um, while well, I'm doing that, uh, I can play out my cards too, right? Or yeah, so my, well, we have I'll to choose out weapons, both right? right out. Yeah, choose your weapons. Disp so you also have to give me a goal. Actually, yeah. I'm getting too far ahead. I'm trying to do multiple things. Sorry. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Goal. Um, I think our goal is going to be, well, Vir uh, Virgil, you, you, Caden specifies the goal because you're, you're the captain of it. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, our goal is to escape the ogre, but not the caverns, right? Right. Yeah, escape uh. the ogre, but not the caverns. Like, we want to find a good place in the caverns to, to be. That's good. I feel like that sets up for some compromises. Yeah, that's super good. Cool. Uh, their goal is to capture you. <laughs> that's good, too. Um, very straightforward. Okay, so the weapons bit, that's the stuff in the back, right? Like maps and locals and dirty tricks and right tools and things yeah yeah, yeah. all our convention all our like fighting weapons are uh so in a chase yeah if you're locals if you have maps dirty trick i think i think that the, the gold on the ground may count as a dirty trick or the or right tool we have I'm sure we have not been doing any cartography is that correct Right. Correct. You do cartography Does... during camping, so I mean, I've been taking notes of where we're right, where, right. where we've gone, but um, we don't have any maps. We don't have any maps. Yeah, I don't think we have anything that we could justify as. And uh, so their total is seven. So, and we don't have the grappling hook anymore, which would have been the right tools. Do we have any rope or anything? We do have. Well, I think Linus had the rope. <laughs> Minus Linus. Yeah, we're like, where's? Wait, where is Linus? <laughs> yeah. Did we leave it? I don't. Oh, I, it's I too late now. <laughs> yeah. He's the one with the rope. Yeah. Um, and there's a fourth one. All so right. we're down to dirty tricks. Well, I don't know that. I don't know that. Uh, Right tools is, is out is out. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, let me pull up our. I think uh, dropping a few iron spikes on the ground to uh, have them either stub their poke. You know, if we if we get a get a distance and we can set up a sort of make right. some caltrops or um, uh, or something that they would slip on uh spilling oil on the ground behind us i do have so some they, oil so that they would well. they would slip on that i i mean i yeah it, i think that's I think, applicable yeah but that's dirty tricks. tricks yeah that's dirty tricks yeah, the... for sure oh, okay fair so i mean it sounds it sounds like you have what i would perceive as viable options for dirty tricks and such like that so that's it's on the table yeah but um, yeah. okay. So one more time, the leader of this conflict is Cadence. Correct. Okay, cool. So right. I need to draw some cards. Wait, do I choose yeah. cards? You right? choose cards actually, and lay them yeah. face down. Um, Eric, have you already picked your cards? My cards are down. The three conflict cards are down. Sorry, I should have cool. said that. Thank you. No, it's cool. I just I've got so many windows up. I didn't. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and we, we reveal them left to right. So even though, yeah, don't, so don't go from center out. Go from left, left to yeah. right. Yeah, even though center, I know it's it's not good to yeah. But anyways, yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. What was that? We're going from left to right. Yeah, yeah you go from yeah. left to right, not center to the back line. Yeah. So in in chases, um, defend actions are regrouping. Attack actions are sprints. Uh, maneuvers are trying to. Um, literally maneuver them, and feints are like fight, fake turns. Like we went left, no, we went right. Um, yeah, or splitting up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a brilliant. Yeah, we yeah. we all go in different directions, and only yeah. some of us die. Um, <laughs> we need some Scooby Doo music playing right now. So yeah, yeah, I wish I had Scooby Doo music. That's yeah. awesome. 
Oh, what are the, uh, Epi, what are the skills used in Flea? Scout or rider, I'm assuming not rider because none of us are on horses yeah. or troglodytes yep. or whatever you ride in the caves. Um, and then health, okay, so it's scout for attack, scout for faint, health for defend, health for maneuver. Okay, cool. This, this running away is like my fucking jam. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> so so I'm I'm good at I'm good at the maneuvering and defending actions. Um, I'm uh, not so great at the attack or the faint actions. Yeah, I'm I am no so good. I think at a maneuver would be like throwing the stuff and running, right? So yeah. I'm, and then we'll sprint next or something, right? Sure. Uh, so maneuver, attack, the sprint, and wait, then... what were the what what were the maneuvers? I'm having. A little trouble working with the analogy here in my head. What what were the maneuvers oh. supposed to be? Uh, you mean the the four different actions in the in yeah. chase conflict? Um, in a chase, like attack is sprinting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Defend yeah. is regroup. Yep. Faint is like throw them off, either pretend to go one way or 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 right. Um, and maneuver. I'm just trying to find that. Is to get yourself in a position to do to to flee better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna yeah. maneuver, and then we're gonna. What happened? Oh. Or do whatever you need to do next better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. like augment whatever you're doing. We're gonna maneuver into a position to run, um, and then. So are you doing the maneuver right. cadence? Yeah. Okay. Forgive me. Not fresh, so I should move this that. There we go. Okay. Uh, and, and then after the sprint, do we want to probably... Do, I mean, we might need to regroup at that point. So each one of us has it? to be doing one of them. Right. Right. Uh, so mm -hmm. are, do you want to help us... Doing one. Do you, yeah. yeah. Do you want to help us regroup, uh, Basil? Or Sure. If defend is... Yeah. It's a health... Yeah, it's, I mean, that's the best I can do. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that sounds good. We'll we'll distract them. We'll run off, and then we'll make sure we regroup after we've done a little sprint. Okay. All right, let's reveal uh, all the cards. Ju yeah. Just before you decide to assign that, though, I'm way better at the distracting action than I am at the chase at the running off action. And if you oh. want to tell me to give up my treasure uh, cadence, I I I will. Uh, Bryn will, will do it. Um, okay, and we can change if, uh, turn order so that you do that first, and then I so Bryn then a, cadence. A run. Yeah. yeah, I'm just just saying. Uh, I'm not nearly as, these little dwarf so, legs are not your. Yeah. <laughs> right. We can just true. we can just swap then. You'll not do a the, natural born sprinter. You have the distract the the maneuver card now, and I have the attack. Oh, card. these the cards aren't based on our order there though. It's the order in which we want to do we them. We do can them? assign oh, whatever okay. we doesn't want. Matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have to like marching order so doesn't first, matter for yeah. for 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 um uh, action order. Yeah. So turn <clears throat> one is Bryn. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me turn two is Cadence, and turn three is is uh, Basil. Okay. There we go. I just wanted to have the the game screen in the right order too. Cool. Uh, let's reveal all three of our cards right. to help paint a better picture of what's going, what this could look like. Oops. I just took the card. Um, <gasps> Don't look at it. Okay. He's Come totally right cheating. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So this looks like so the obviously the first thing you want to do with uh, inspired by by Oog, uh, basically just being like, oh, I'll get these, uh, and is basically going to try to come at you. The goblins are going to try to flank around, um, and they know the shortcuts, and so they're going to try to cut you off. Um, they're in front jerks. of you. That's the that's the idea that I have. Um, yep. So obviously you're trying to throw the the bait them with money, uh, yep. sprint out and regroup somewhere. Yeah. Right, seems so, to be like that strategy mm -hmm. too. Right, so, okay, so I, I I have an idea of what this could kind of look like on screen. Okay. Yeah. So, so um, I'm gonna say in goblet. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I can help with scout. Nice. For maneuvers. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, well, maneuver is uh, a health test, which is why. Oh, oh, I can do either one very well. So. Be so um, I I holding my crossbow in one hand, which is not sufficient to to to. Um, to, to uh, use it, but it's sufficient to hold it. I reach into my pouch and and throw half of my 
half of my treasure that I brought in here, a D of coin onto the ground. So it's like, but it's like scatter it. So it, so it like has to like be picked up. And yeah. I say, uh, and I say in Goblin to Oog, um, uh, why, wh why work hard for the pointy end? For the for the pointy for the pointy end, and I wave the crossbow when you can easily have uh, when you can easily have the shiny and, uh, <laughs> and throw it. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's that's my word. I get the shiny when I <laughs> eat you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, its well, voice we'll bellows as it thump 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 comes to grab you. Oh, that's um, a good. Are you guys trying to flee with your backpacks on? Oh. Probably. It's not. It's not a. I don't think it's actually going to be a factor. But I'm just curious if you're dropping things. Yeah. I'm. Uh, besides that coin, I'm not planning on dropping anything. Because no. I don't think you have to crawl through any tight spook squeezes oh, yet. Yeah. yeah. But um, that could yes. be a factor. So I just want to ask you right now if you have if it's assumed that you have your backpacks with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I still got mine on. Yeah. Yeah. I think in a fight off conflict, you know, and in some other kind of conflict, we might drop them if we were planning on holding our grounds, but. We don't. We can't guarantee we'll make it back here. Yeah. Right. The the okay. backpack it absolutely is a factor for dungeoneer and fighting, but we're not. Yeah, you're uh, running away. But, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. We're not rolling the fighter. We're I'm not just, rolling either of those. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just. I, maybe I'm getting ahead. I'm thinking too far ahead. Sure. Uh, yeah. When you guys inevitably fail <laughs> and you're yeah. stuck in some hidey hole, it, getting moving moving around with your backpack will be a challenge. Okay. And so I'm just thinking. Sorry. Okay. I just want to make sure before. Good. I don't want to talk about what happened 20 minutes ago if that event happened, so I just wanted to clear yeah. it up. So, thanks. Cool. Yep. All if. right. So then, uh, yeah, the the if. So. <laughs> yeah. Speaking um, of which, uh, Eric, should we just before we start, should we uh, hit our break, or do you want to do it after that? Yeah. No. Uh, that, you're right. It's 1:36. So let's go to our first break, everybody. Uh, we'll be back on the other side. So see you all in about six minutes. Don't go anywhere uh, unless you get a snack and stuff like that. And we're going to come back and see what happens with this chase in these caves. So uh, don't go anywhere. Good times. Good cliffhanger. So we got six minutes then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the bathroom break for this old man. Yep. Beer back. <laughs> 